will you the willing the great genius the great science oracle about high stain of our time the Rocco one of africa you just cannot deny it stand up for the Distinguished viewers all over the globe. Once again, I am Mr. David Bonaventure Okiogene, who are aka Rhymesome Master Davilio Davili, the youth master of Peck Sweden, and of course the quotable quota, scientifically celebrated with all sense of humility and the glory of the Almighty as a science was oracle. With respect to what the demand of my distinguished acolytes all over the globe, I'm here to look at what rotating mirror. Rotating what mirror? In our previous class, we've been able to extensively exhaust or discuss what a mirror is all about. I told you in that class that what a mirror is defined as a highly polished word surface which has the capacity of forming the images of objects as a result of the obedience or as a result of specular reflection of the rays of light that falls on it. Once again, a mirror is defined as what a highly polished optical surface which has the capacity of forming the images of objects by the law of specular reflection of the rays of light that falls on it. The mirror is composed of two parts, the highly polished word surface and of course the other part which is what sometimes silver coated. In other words, something of this nature is said to be what a plain word mirror. Look at it. This is said to be the coated word surface. The coated word surface. Let's call it mirror length AB. Whereas this part is said to be the highly washed or polished word suffix. There is a law known as the law of specular reflection, and it says that when a ray of light is incident on what a plain word mirror, the incident word angle formed between the normal and the incident word ray must be equivalent or equal to the angle of reflection, which is the angle formed between what the normal and the reflected ray. For instance, if this is what the normal, let's say, N and what there is a ray of light making an angle of what let's say theta i with what the normal. This angle is said to be the incident angle, and of course, this is known as the incident ray. And when a ray of light falls on a highly polished surface, there will be what is called regular or specular reflection, not as well uniform word reflection. So the incident word angle here will be equivalent to the reflected word angle. That is what we call the law of specular reflection. So images are being formed as a result of the compliance with the law of specular what reflection. But we're looking at what rotating what mirror. For instance, if a plane mirror is rotated, for instance, if this is what a plane what mirror, if this is what a plane what mirror, label what A, B, here what this is said to be what N what one, otherwise known as what affects what normal, and this is taken to be what theta what i, which is the incident angle between what the normal and what one. Of course, definitely we are going to experience what is known as what a reflection. Let's call it what r what one. If this particular mirror is not rotated at a particular angle, say what theta, we are going to have it in this form. Year year is known as the angle of what rotation theta. The new position of what the mirror becomes something of this what you know form. Let's label it now. See what D. And of course, there will be a new what normal, which is perpendicular to the new position, and which of course X X here is known as what and what two. Now the angle between the first normal and of course the final normal, otherwise the initial normal and what the final normal geometrically has been estimated to be equivalent to what the angle of what rotation known as what theta don't forget going by the law of specular reflection this is the word the incident word ray are you there making an angle of theta high with the word effects normal 
and going by the law of specular reflection, angle of incidence must be equal to angle of what? Reflection, meaning that what? From year to year, which is the angle of incidence must be equal to what? Theta arrow, which is the angle of what? Reflection. Now take note that what? When the new normal was created, we have n to there will be what? A new what? Reflected what? Ray, which is known as what? Arrow what? Two. Now, don't forget the distance from year to year is said to be what? The angle of reflection before rotation. Whereas theta i is known as the angle of incidence before rotation. And of course, the angle between the initial normal and effects what? Or the final normal rather is given as the angle of what? Rotation. Talking about the angle with which the mirror is being rotated. Now, if from year to year is known as what? the angle of reflection before rotation, what would be from year to year? Mathematically, let's look at it now. That let's year, let, okay, let's assume year to be what? X, which is the angle between the final what? Normal and the first reflected what? Ray, that is N2 R2. Let's assume it to be equivalent to what? X. Remember that the angle N1 R1, N1 R1 is equals to theta what arrow and the angle n what one and n two is equal to what theta and therefore what would be the angle n two arrow one n two arrow one let it be x so if what from year to year is theta arrow and from year to year or from year to year rather is what theta year to year becomes what listen n what two arrow two becomes n1 r1 minus n1 n2 and that becomes what theta r minus what theta it is the reason why today year could be said to be equals to theta r minus what theta theta r minus what theta oh i'm communicating all right also there is an angle between the first reflected ray and of course the second word reflected ray at the end of what the rotation of the mirror. We don't know it. Let it be what? Why? But before then, now, for the new what normal, the new incident what angle after the rotation of the mirror can therefore be obtained as the distance from year to year. From year to year is known as theta i. And of course, from year to year is known as what theta. What then would be the angle between the first incident what ray and what the new normal? It becomes theta i plus what the angle of rotation, which is theta i plus what the angle of rotation. And don't forget, by the law of specular reflection, if from year to year is theta i plus what theta, from year to year automatically becomes theta i also plus what theta. That is, incident angle must be equal to what reflected what angle. Now, the question is, what is the angle between R1 and what R2? It's very consequential. Most examination questions are usually focused on what the angle that is located or situated between R1 and R2. Mathematically, we are going to deduce it. Recall, now that what, from year to year, is theta i plus what theta, of course, the x, and from year to year is x. I will be able to deduce it to be equivalent to theta r minus theta. What then will be here? Very simple. X plus what Y must be equivalent to the angle between N2 and what R2, which mathematically is theta I plus theta. That is N what 2 and what R2. And that is equal to theta I plus what theta. But we've been able to deduce that X, which is the angle between N2 and R1, to be what theta R minus theta. So in the place of X, I'm going to have theta R minus what theta. And of course, we are looking for Y and that becomes what theta what i plus what theta. Now let us make y the subject of what the formula. We do that, we have what y is equals to theta what i plus what theta, and close in bracket minus. Of course, as this one crosses here, it becomes theta what arrow minus what theta. So we have y now to be equivalent to theta what i plus what theta. Now when you open the bracket, you are going to have minus theta arrow minus times minus is plus and that is equivalent to theta. So y now is equivalent to theta i 
minus theta r. Theta plus theta will give us what? Two words theta. So therefore we have y to the equivalent to what? All right. Don't forget, according to the law of specular reflection, incident angle must be equal to what? Reflected what angle. Which implies mathematically that wherever we see theta arrow, we can as well put theta i. Or wherever we see theta i, we can as well put theta arrow. So therefore, mathematically, y becomes what? Theta i minus in the place of theta arrow, I can put theta what? i plus what? Two what? Theta. So therefore, y is equal to theta i minus theta i. This will strike this. What is left is 2 theta. So please have this at the back of your mind. Now, when a mirror is rotated, the angle between the initial reflected ray and the final reflected ray is twice the angle with which the mirror is rotated. This is very consequential. So, eight facts can be deduced from what a rotating mirror. There are eight ways you could be evaluated or texted. First of all, when a mirror is rotated, let me ask you, what is the angle of incident before the mirror is rotated. What is the angle of incident before the mirror is rotated? Merely looking at what the diagrammatical expression we have on the board, you will discover that before the mirror is rotated, the angle of incident is just theta i. It's just what? Theta what? i. It's just theta i. Now, there's a distinction between the angle of incident before what? Rotation and the angle of incident after rotation. So please, examiners are very, very tricky. You should be able to distinguish between these two angles. Angle of incident before rotation and of course angle of incident after rotation. After the rotation of the mirror, the angle of incident is given mathematically as what? The angle of incident before rotation plus the what? Look at it here. That is the angle of incident before rotation plus the angle with which the mirror is rotated. And that is equivalent to theta i plus what theta. So you have two incident what angles. One, angle of incident before rotation, and of course, angle of incident after rotation. Number three ways you could be tested is before the mirror is rotated, what is the reflected angle? Remember, if what the incident angle before the mirror is rotated is what theta i automatically the reflected angle before rotation must be equivalent to the word theta i, which is the incident angle before rotation. That is in compliance with the law of specular reflection, which asserts or states that what for specular or regular reflection, the angle of incident must be equivalent to or equal to the angle of reflection. So automatically, before rotation, angle of what reflection is just what theta what arrow which is as good as theta i. Then number four, what about after rotation? What about after rotation? After the mirror must have been rotated, it is still in compliance with the law of specular reflection. Once we can have the knowledge of what? The angle of the incident after rotation, automatically we have been able to estimate the magnitude of what the angle of reflection after rotation. So what is the angle of incident after reflection? We've been able to deduce it to be what theta i plus theta. So going by the law of specular reflection, number four, the angle of reflection of what a plane mirror after rotation is automatically theta i plus what theta. Theta i plus what theta. Again, then we want to evaluate you. What is the angle between the what initial incident ray and the final reflected ray? When a mirror is rotated, I think I could remember vividly far back when I was still in school, under level, I came across a question like this. You hearing the student we are asked, I think, in Meknes under level, that we are asked that the mirror was rotated at an angle of 60 degrees, and we are now asked to calculate what the angle between the incident ray and the final reflected ray is very simple. Remember that after rotation, the incident angle is theta i plus what theta. Then the reflected angle is what is also theta what i plus what theta. So therefore, number five, the angle between what the incident ray and the final reflected ray is simply this angle here, which is the angle of incident after rotation plus the angle of what reflection after rotation. So mathematically, i arrow two, i arrow two is equal to theta i plus theta plus what theta i plus what theta 
and that automatically becomes theta i plus theta is 2 theta what incident angle plus theta plus theta is 2 what theta angle of rotation. What is common is 2. So you have 2 into bracket theta i plus what theta. This is said to be the summation of the angle between the angle of incident and of course the final word reflected watch rate. That is the fifth way in which you could be evaluated. What about the sixth way in which you could be evaluated? That one is very simple. Very simple. What is the angle between the final normal and the initial normal when a mirror is rotated? When a mirror is rotated, what is the angle between the initial and the final normal? This is the initial normal before the mirror is rotated. And of course, when the mirror is being rotated, taking the position CD, it has a new normal. Consequently, there must be an angle between the initial normal and the final normal. And look at it here, the distance from here to here. Number six way in which you could be evaluated. What is the angle between N1 and what N2? It is very simple. It has been geometrically deduced that when a mirror is rotated, the angle between the initial normal and the final normal is simply the angle with which the mirror is rotated. If a mirror is rotated at an angle of theta, the angle between the initial normal and the final normal must be theta. If the mirror is rotated at an angle of 45 degrees, automatically the angle between N1 and N2, otherwise known as the initial normal and the final normal, must be 45. That is to say, N1, N2 is equal to theta, where theta denotes or depicts or defines the angle with which the mirror is rotated. Seventh way in which you will be texted. The seventh word, way in which what you will be what texted. When a mirror is rotated, what is the angle between what the initial what normal and the what the initial reflected ray? What is the angle between the initial what normal and the initial reflected what ray? What is it? Sorry, what is the angle between what the final what normal and the initial reflected ray? What is the angle? Now look at what the final what normal N2. And this is said to be what the initial what reflected ray. So what is the angle between N2 and what R1 for a rotating what mirror? It is very simple. I denoted it before now as what X, right? Fine. So if you are asked to compute or calculate the angle between the final normal and the initial reflected ray for a rotating mirror, simply say it is what the incident angle minus the angle of rotation or the reflected angle minus the angle of rotation because there is no distinction between incident angle and reflected ray especially for specular regular what reflection now look at it it is n2 and r1 so the angle between n2 and r1 is simply what theta r minus what theta so therefore we have theta r minus what theta but since what theta r is as good as theta i it is still the same thing as theta i minus what theta. So when you are asked under examination condition to calculate the angle located or situated between the initial reflected ray and the final what normal, it is simply what the incident angle minus the angle with which the mirror is rotated. Then finally, which is the most critical one, especially in German YA and sometimes in under level, they will ask you if a mirror is rotated through an angle of what 30 degrees what is the angle between the initial reflected ray and what the final reflected ray look at it initial reflected ray and of course the final reflected ray i've been able to mathematically deduce it that indeed when a mirror is rotated the angle between the two reflected rays r1 and r2 being denoted alphabetically as y is equals to twice the angle with which the mirror is rotated. I think at this point, I will draw the curtain. Looking forward to expatiating on other aspects of mirror, like the curved mirror and the parabolic mirror. Once again, thank you for your audience.